bin Anbiya Musalin wa ala alihi wa sallam ajma'in. Alhamdulillah, all praise to Allah SWT and blessing to his prophet for enabling us to meet again after more than after about months of silence uh, that I felt that the momentum was lost. <laughs> okay. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, I won't, I will try to go to Hikmah today and I call this a demo, demonstration uh, uh, session. But before that, let me try to recollect what the previous three sessions was about. Basically, we will try to raise your awareness that education has changed and uh, one of the most basic change is uh, the emphasis on process rather than product uh, for this 21st century which means the which means the uh, emphasis on uh, critical thinking critical thinking the soft skills okay interpersonal skills and so on and then we went on to uh, draw up uh, the the education has to be transformative and to do this we need to have a new pedagogy especially for islamic education and we talk about the philosophical inquiry and due to that we brought you to to, to know more about in a brief uh, period about philosophy and its component and how it is very relevant for our worldviews and how the development is development in the Muslim world that we've said that we argue that uh, we have to revitalize philosophical inquiry in order to uh, produce a more dynamic more dynamic uh, uh, Muslim civilization as it was in the past okay so uh, what we are going to take as we told you is not the history of philosophy or the ideas of the philosophers but basically we are going to use its bag of tools uh, that means logic and thinking okay and to cultivate this uh, among our our youth and also among teachers okay or lecturers even so uh, with that i think i just like to inform you let's see whether i can share this uh, oops, I pressed the wrong. Okay, uh, with my sharing, uh, okay, share screen, yeah. I would like to make a claim here. Where is the screen now? Uh, here. The one that I want to share. Okay. So, uh, so today is a demonstration. And I must tell you the procedure because this is not a typical classroom. In a typical classroom, I'd be doing this face to face to my students and the response will be immediate. But this is my first try uh, to do it online. So I'm, I'm not so sure whether it can be as effective as it is face to face. But basically, uh, what I need later on is your participation. But not all of you because I think if 10 of you participate uh, uh, and the rest can just watch basically. And I want you to watch basically the teacher, in this case, which is me, what I'm doing, okay? Now, uh, one of the purpose for the Hikmah pedagogy, as it was in philosophical inquiry, is to improve reasoning ability. We want our students and our youth and whoever, our teachers to have good critical reasoning, okay? And that is critical thinking. And also we want them to develop creativity. Uh, they can see alternatives, they can see differences, they can distinguish, and they can create something new. Also, personal interpersonal growth, that means personally that person becomes more confident, more self-confident, has self-esteem, you know, able to talk, uh, communicate well, able to collaborate interpersonally, okay, and has a better understanding of ethics, 
okay, uh, empathy, concern for others, and so on. Meaning and experience. This is what is missing in the education today: is, is wisdom and meaning. So hopefully, from the from the uh, the methods that you employ, you'll be you'll be able to give meaning to whoever is your are your students. And finally, with respect to the Islamic objective and aims, we want our whoever has sat through this program would be more focused on reflecting, understanding, and then acting upon Islamic principles for, in, uh, in their life. Okay, so basically, that is a brief introduction of what is the purpose and objective. Okay, and also the aim of pedagogy is for meaningfulness. It is rich concept. In philosophical questions. Uh, so I hope in this uh, session at the end of it we will we'll discuss whether do you think that how do you think that this pedagogy is able to achieve those purpose that I mentioned just now. Okay so for now uh, I will give you something uh, to read is uh, what we call stimulus material. This is used uh, this is uh, this will be used as a stimulus for our discussion. Okay, so let me go and get, see whether. Okay, I don't know whether this is clear to you. Can you see it in on your screen, Brother Sharan? Can you see it on your screen? <laughs> uh, mine's okay because I'm using a big screen, but I'm not sure if uh, can friend you, are you, using a small can screen. Can get somebody from the uh, participant to, to say whether they can see the screen or not? You can write on the chat box. Uh, mute them. Okay, where's the... Okay, okay. please use the chat box. Where's the chat box? Where's my chat box? I don't on, on the chat. On the chat. Uh, uh, down, down there. Okay, Faisal can see. Wait, uh, I can't see where's my chat. Down at the bottom. Uh, Participant, share, share screen, next to share screen. I don't see, I only see uh, our, our pictures. There's um, up there, I can see participant, but I don't see the chat. Oh, wait, more, more, more. Okay, Where more. I am more. Okay. Okay, thank you. Now I can see the chat. Okay. So, uh, majority can see it. Can you, see? yes, you can see. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Okay, now I don't want you all to use this chat. Uh, for writing any other message except okay except later on uh, question now we will read this passage if you can see it but I want to give you an, an an idea of how to do it it can be read silently but if you are in a classroom of younger students it's better to read to give the opportunity for them to read one passage at a, one paragraph at a time since we don't have that uh, luxury here I will do this with brother Shahran Okay. <laughs> I, will read, I will read one passage and you will read the next one and then I will read the next we will we will take turn. Okay, okay, I'm ready. Okay, so that we know that we all have completed reading it. Otherwise we don't know the, the rate of reading. Okay? Okay, Pixie. Yeah? Okay. On Saturday afternoon my father and mother had to go visit my brother, my father's boss, who was in the hospital. They said they didn't want to take Miranda and me with them. And we said, fine, we'll stay home. We didn't want to go anyhow. Sharan? As they, were li as, as they were leaving, my mother said, Remember, now you'll be here alone and I don't want you to let anyone in. That is a rule you mustn't break. They said they will be back in two or three hours. Daddy patted me on the head and they were gone. Okay, before I proceed, I would like to for all of you to... I see whatever thing that you you think you you can give a talking talking point a discussion or that is puzzling or that uh, raise some question in your mind because I will ask that question later on okay so next paragraph I did a little dance around the kitchen table and Miranda said what's with you we are free I yelled the house belongs to us you are crazy said Miranda nothing's changed you know perfectly well that there are family rules and they stay the same whether mom and dad are here or not. Free, 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 I sang. Free, 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 everything's possible. Miranda wrinkled up her nose like she always does and said, you are disgusting. 
I said, I am going right to Mama's closet and put on her good dress that comes down to the floor. It will swallow you, said Miranda, but maybe that's good. Just then there was a knock at the door. I didn't take off the chain. I just called out, who's there? And I heard Isabel say, it is Isabel and Pony. Miranda said, Pixie, you heard what Mama said. We're not supposed to let anyone in. Rules are rules. But Mama didn't mean we should keep out people we know, I insisted. Miranda said, there are lots of cooks we know that Mama wouldn't want us to let in. Just yes. then, okay. Just then, Isabel called from the other side of the door. Pixie, don't worry about us. We just stopped by to say hello. See you tomorrow. I didn't want a big argument with Miranda, so I went up in Mama's closet and sat down on the floor among the shoes. I grumbled to myself, can you imagine? This is the only place I can be free to be me. Okay, uh, Alhamdulillah, I think uh, we have read that. So let's, uh, let's ask one person to summarize. What is this passage about? Can we, unmute? can we unmute someone? Can, you can volunteer over... This one we have to speak because... Uh, or you want to write in the chat? Can write also, Prof. Okay, anyone can write. So we can select. Huh? I, can, I think write first and then you can select. I, 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 didn't, I didn't get that. Uh, anyone can write on the chat box and then oh. we can read it out. Oh, but this is a summary, just a short summary. Yes. <laughs> and you wants to write? Uh, already got somebody asking a question already. I, I just want a summary first. To, because I want to know whether we all underst understood the story. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a simple story. Uh, so people are giving, uh, people are giving talking points. Yeah, but can someone summarize in, in verbal, verbally? Can we unmute someone, Sharan? Anyone volunteer by by showing that you want to speak? Can raise hand. You can raise hand. I can unmute. Ah, can you raise hand? Then brother Sharan can unmute. Someone? Uh, okay, we have the brother. Yeah, I I, I know. Uh, somebody said this. Uh, Alima said this is a story about house rules. But what what happened? What happened? Can you just yeah, tell we, me? We, we have this. Uh, Al Castro. Uh, yeah. My name is uh, Nadia. Uh -huh. From Hong Kong. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, sorry, because that's my, my real name. Okay, uh, go ahead. My Nadia, name yeah. is Nadia, yes. Uh -huh. So um so there's uh siblings, they are uh, left by their parents and they're told to stay at home and mm -hmm. follow the rule, the house rules that they were given. Mm -hmm. Younger child seems to be would like to break the rule because she. Okay, don't don't, don't interpret. Yeah. Okay, just what okay, happened. Right. Just what happened. That means they, the friends came and visit them, right? Yes. Uh huh. And then. And uh, the younger one uh, uh, wanted to break the rule, and the older one said no. Okay. Uh, rules are rules; they're not meant to be broken. So the okay. little girl. Went okay, up I, think, and, I think that's, yeah. that's enough. Basically, right. okay. basically, there's a problem here. Okay, uh, that's what we want to see whether there's a problem. There's a problem here because there are two differences of opinions, right? About whether to let the, the friends in or not. Okay, so now can you post your question? Okay, I see one question there, and I'm going to put this in my in my in my slide so that it's bigger. Uh, I will, I will take it out. Okay and put it in my slide. Oh. oh, I can't, I can't type here. Oh, I can't type. Supposed to be okay. Okay. Yeah, somebody asked. Yeah. yeah. What is F-R-E-D-O-M? Yes, this is but the Nasir. Okay, and then there's another question there. Uh, what's the question? No question. Uh, can can you all raise your question? I, the rest I just comments. Can you raise questions? So you see, we need uh, uh, 
for philosophy, you must be able to ask questions. <laughs> okay. Any other question you can put in the chat. I, I will take it up. I think there was a problem just now. So you can ask the questions. Uh, Nadia, uh, you say rules are meant not to be broken. Can you post it into a question? Okay, why would this why would the sibling argue about the rules? Okay. Let me put this. Is it Louis there? I'll put your name beside that. Okay. Is freedom limited? That is quite sad. Can we have our understanding? Can we have our understanding for the rules? Uh, let me see. Let me just put it down. Oops. So the question does hold on, hold on. Don't, don't. <laughs> okay, does freedom contradict? Uh, okay, does freedom contradict? The freedom contradict. <coughs> now, who was that? Uh, who was this just now? I didn't get the name. Can you just not not uh, put any question yet? I want to see who. Uh oh. Uh, can we have understanding that is uh, Shadi? Shadi is from the state, huh? And then you have uh, this freedom contradict. Uh, Nahid. Nahid. I think this is from Iran, I think. And then uh, I saw it's like point in this question that Allah is always watching us. Uh, put that into a question, Brother Anwar, because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not asking for comment, I'm asking for question. Why did she not, Sazalima, uh, when mommy made the rule, why did she not stay to implement the rules? Mm, well, she can't stay because she has to leave, I think. Uh, <laughs> the rule is meant when she is okay. Maybe I can just take that question. Maybe I like to pose a question. Huh? What is the difference between the two girls? I think it's two girls. Uh, between the the way the way of thinking of the two girls maybe what is, what is the difference between I won't give it away between the two girls what is the difference between the two girls uh, what is the difference between the two girls and who you prefer? Who would you prefer to have as a daughter? <laughs> it's me. Anybody else has some questions? Let me see. Uh, there is four new messages. Why should parents? Okay. Oh, there are two questions here. I did not see just now. Okay, one is this one. See. And this is from staff one. Staff one. Eh? Next one is why should parents? Let me see. And this is uh, Nasir. It's a different Nasir, okay? This is Nasir Danzaria. Okay, one more question uh, that, that fills in. Uh, why the other one want to act like a boss or a father? Abdullahi. Mm 
And the other one is why the children are eager and happy for freedom. <laughs> not only children, eh? it's not a chicken. Eh? Even adults are happy for this, isn't it? Okay, anyway, proceed. Okay, that's the last one that I have space for, okay? Okay, so these are the questions that you all have raised. See, I can put... Uh, I don't see where is the... Bullet. Oh, oh, oh bullet. Uh, see, I can put this bullet. Oh, there's no numbering. Uh, let me reduce the size. Ah, okay, there's number. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we have 11 questions. Okay. And you notice that uh, what are the, ish, the main points here? What are the themes that you can see? Common themes. For example, number one and number number three is about freedom, right? So I can I can I can consider this. Let me color it. Eh? Freedom. Number three is also freedom, right? Freedom. Any okay here? This also number five is also about freedom. I will just highlight this freedom. From here, I can see what you are interested in. And then, uh, I think the last one, the last one. Okay, freedom. So what are the other, so one is freedom. So in other words, you are one of the themes in this passage, we can see from here that is about freedom. That's the concept that is of interest. And then uh, the next one is, Rules. I think here is rules. Let me give a different color. Uh, rules. It's also about rules. Number four is also about rules. So I think all the rest are about rules. Number six is rules. Ah, this one is a bit different. Huh? This is different. This is not blue. Okay, never mind. Uh, Okay, okay, so there are three about, about rules. And then the rest are, okay, seven, are there any more similar themes? Seven is about the two girls. Eight is about, uh, ah, eight is about freedom also actually. Eight is about freedom also, because there's three here. Uh -huh. So this is what I call classification, okay? In order to be a good critical thinker, you have to be able to know how to classify, okay? And then, why should parents leave children alone at home? So that is not, not, not related. Why are the, the other one want to act as a boss or father? Also not related. So in other words, uh, what we can see from this passage is a stimulus material for discussion. We can get two major concepts here that is discussed. There is freedom and the other one is rules. Okay. Now, uh, uh, is there any question that you can immediately answer? What is freedom is a big, uh, very conceptual question. Uh, uh, is there any that you can get the answer from the text? Uh, or maybe, are there some questions that need clarification? For example, I think... Uh, <laughs> I see there's so many other questions, okay, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to take all those questions, okay. Only I want to ask, uh, um, any, any question which we can answer immediately, for example, okay. Uh, number nine is a norm, normative question, why should, okay. Um, uh, so in other words, if you look at this, maybe I would add, I would like to ask Shady, because the question is not clear. Can we have our understanding for the rules? That means, here, uh, is it clear to you all? Yes, yes. Can, can we have our understanding for the rules? Is it, does it mean that uh, our interpretation, is, the, is that what is meant? Interpretation of the rules, right? I think that's what Shadi means. Huh? Can we have our own 
interpretation Ex of truth, right? Yeah, right? our explanation, our interpretations, our uh, understanding. Yeah. Okay, okay, then that is clear then, okay. And then the other one is on question number, where is it just now? Huh, number six. I forgot to put the name. I think this is Halima, right? If I'm not mistaken just now. It's Usaza Halima, right? If my memory serves me, right? Okay. Why, what, what do you think about this question? The mummy is the rule. Why did she not stay to implement the rules? Would she give the rules if she would be staying with them? <laughs> Assalamualaikum. Salam, yes. Okay, so... Um... Yeah, it's like um, usually mommy stays at home and mm -hmm. daddy goes, goes out uh, to work, uh, but this is not the case. And um, mommy makes the rules um, for the kids, um, but leaves them to, uh, you know, implement the rules, you know? Yeah, so I know. Uh-huh, okay. Go on. So it's, um, it's like uh, we don't know what the mommy's intention is. Is it to test? these uh, girls uh, or these children of the rules that she set or uh, is the mommy testing whether these rules uh, works in the house you know but, but you think in this context just now when both of them are leaving the house the uh -huh. father and the mother visiting their boss in the hospital would you think uh -huh. that she's testing them or she's leaving them with with the rules i don't think she's uh -huh. testing them right she just want them to to okay let me because put... i think i think if if huh? yeah, whose boss is it? is it the daddy's boss or is it the mommy's boss so the daddy's boss. <laughs> yeah. boss okay? so precisely the mommy's <laughs> presence is not required mommy don't need to go so uh -huh. if the mommy mommy still goes that means the rule is not important <laughs> no 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 i mean if the mummy stays at home with them, she doesn't have to spell, spell out this rule to them. Don't you think so? Because she's there to see it. But because she's not there to see it, and also none of the, the father also is not there, that's why she's leaving them with, with certain instruction. Rules are instruction probably, okay? Instruction. So that they will, they will uh, follow that instruction. The question now I think that should be asked is, what is the use of a rule? Nobody asks, yeah. what's, the purpose of, what's the purpose of this rule? Yeah, what's the purpose? What's the purpose of this rule? What are the purpose of rules in general? Guidelines. Uh -huh. Anyone want to respond? Or you want to put in the chat? Up, up to you. Uh, wait. My chat box is very slow in, in moving. Okay, someone say rules to survive. Uh, is that a response to this question? For, yeah, security, yeah. for security. Okay. Yeah. Rules is for uh, order. Somebody said responsibility, safety. So in other words, okay, stop, stop. Okay, no, no, no more. It's enough. Okay. So in other words, rules are for safety. So that's why the mother gives the rules for safe, safety reason, right? For security, for the children's safety. You're not supposed to open open the open the 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 door to someone that they don't know. Okay. I don't know whether someone said that uh, can rule be broken just now. Uh, okay. So if, if the rules are for safety, can rules be broken? Or can we have our understanding for the rules? That one comes, number four comes together with the, with the, what do you call this? Uh, uh, what is that? Number four. Can we, can, uh, so rules are for safety. So rules are necessary. Maybe my next question is, uh, is there any place in the world that there is no rule? Can you reflect, is there any place in this world that there is no rules? So here is an example of someone said just now, the rules at home, right? Any place in the world that uh, you wouldn't have any rules. If you, open your, if you open your door, your house, you go out, the moment you leave, 
Okay, maybe you are going in a, in a car. Are there rules or not? There are, there are traffic rules, right? If you go in a the car, there are traffic rules, right? Now, then you reach school or you reach the university. Is there any rules? There's of course everywhere. <laughs> Can't escape from rules. There is, there is rules in the school and university. There's rule in uh, traffic. There is rule. There is rule. Uh, there are laws to the country, right? So, so now the question is, uh, Nasir asks, what is freedom? Is freedom related to having rules? Nasir, you want to you want to give your comment? I mean. <laughs> I didn't ask you to love a question, okay? <laughs> but but can you can you can you uh, unmute your mic? Can his mic be unmute? And can he answer what what do you think is? Okay, okay, okay. Now I got it. I got it. I cannot find the unmute one. What was <laughs> your question again? Can you? I was trying typing just now. What's your can question again? Now, Sorry. Uh, we have rules, right? Everywhere, okay. Everywhere we go, there are rules. Okay. And uh, what is the relationship between rules and freedom here? Does it, uh, everywhere there's rules. Does, does it mean that uh, there's no freedom? So what is freedom? Okay, I, I think that the, the, what they call, uh, I, I have a quite different perspective. I think that uh, it's not rules versus freedom. It is uh, two different understanding of freedom. And I think that Pixie is formulating her own rules also. But her, uh, yeah, yeah. And just like the parents also, only that they clash in terms of the definition of freedom. That's all, I think. That's why I asked the question, what is freedom? And uh, I think I'm sure what they call the very, uh, I'm sure the pixie has her own rules. The, her own rules is that if it, it is fine to let the friends into the house, if I feel, I feel that they are, it is safe to do so. So it's a rule. It's a rule. I feel that if she feels that the friends are not safe and danger her, she would not allow the friends to enter the house and so on. I would say that it just, it just is a question of freedom. It's not a question of freedom versus rules. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, I know it's a different opinion. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's true, that's true. Well, yeah, okay. I'm, try, I'm trying to deconstruct the whole thing. I'm a deconstructionist. So, uh -huh. <laughs> so that's it. I think there's only one question. What is freedom? I, uh, what they, of course, when we talk about freedom, it has to be freedom from what to what. There's no absolute freedom. There's always freedom from what to what. Pixie parents and a big sister has their own definition of freedom from what to what. Basically, that is the issue. Don't know. I don't know. Maybe okay. I may be wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> follow up from there. Okay. You said yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, um, you're saying that what you're saying about the two girls. Uh, mm. It's more of interpretation. Yes. Interpretation of the rules. Of the freedom. Of freedom. Of, of, of freedom. Basically, yeah. they are given the rules by the parents. Okay. Now, uh, let me go to the question. Uh, what's the difference between these two girls in, related, in relationship to, to, the, to, uh, to the regulation that the parents have, have given them? I think the her big sister. Uh, I said that's what I say. I said it's not a question of the binary opposition between freedom and rules. Okay, uh, in my opinion, it's just purely different definition of freedom only. The big sister is for her. The big sister believes in freedom. Freedom means free freedom for me to bully my sister. My sister should listen to me. For a pixie, freedom for her is freedom to do what I want to do as long as it is safe. Ah, I would say in this sense, there's only one one issue here. What is freedom? Okay. Not okay, two issues. Yeah. Okay, there are some responses from our, our colleagues here. Okay. Uh, I think this is very interesting uh, from Sultan. Without laws and rules, freedom is not freedom. It becomes something else. And there's a comment by Brother Tupazil. True, there is no absolute freedom. And the other one is by Zikra. Freedom is the right. Uh, of the individual to do what does not harm others. Okay, let's, can we just go back to the rules first before, because we started off with the rules and then we went to freedom, but let's go back to the rules first, okay? Uh, between the two girls, okay, uh, who would you say is the one who is able to, how do they interpret? 
Okay, how do they interpret the mother's instruction? Let's just get to, to that simple fact first. How do they interpret? Anyone want to respond to that? Uh, let me see whether someone has that question or not. Uh, okay, okay, number of, uh, Shadi, can you ask, uh, can you, or Shadi or Luis, because you're asking about the siblings, okay? So, how do you interpret, how do you look at these two girls? How do they uh, look at the rules laid by them, their, parent, their mother? Can they argue? Yeah, I, 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 actually, what I see that one of them is uh, understanding the rule as it is without any kind of interpretation. Like they take the rules and they follow the rules without even thinking about that. The another one that gave her interpretation about, okay, actually they didn't mean that, but they need, you know, something else. So, so you're saying that the, the older one takes the rule as it is. Yes. The rules are rules. But rules the, are rules. Yeah. But the, the younger one, how do you know that Pixie is younger than uh, Miranda? Because she was listening to her. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> how like her boss. Pixie is the younger sister. Can you, make, uh, can you give us some justification to say Pixie is the younger sister? Because she was listening to the older one. So she was uh, listening to the, the older one seems to be controlling her, right? Yeah, yes, exactly. So that, that provides evidence that the old, Miranda is the older one and Pixie is the younger one because she's obeying uh, Miranda, right? So, okay. Yeah, because this, this is what you usually do in our houses, yeah. Okay, so now you're saying that uh, Miranda doesn't interpret the rule. Mm -hmm. She's the literalist. She attacks the rule as the rule. That means for her, you cannot break the rules, right? Correct. Okay, how about, how about Pixie? Does she Pixie interpret? Looks like she, yeah, she understood that, you know, the purpose of the rule. Not, not to be yeah, like, you know, limited or... Fine, right? Yeah, like to find so a way, she, like you know, the purposes of the room. She she thinks about the spirit of the room. The spirit of the room, yeah, the spirit of the room. And the spirit of the room is for their safety, right? She understood that the meaning of the room. The meaning for of the safety. room, correct. And and how do you know that she that was how she understood the meaning of the room? Okay, let me click the text one second. From her understanding. Uh huh. Okay, but how do you know that uh, that was? Yeah, the actually, when when she said, you know, but Mama didn't mean didn't mean we should keep out people, keep yeah, we, out people we know. Uh huh. So because this is her friends, right? Yeah. So actually, yeah, this is her, uh, you know, her understanding. You know, uh, and that it's it's clear that, but Mama didn't mean. So now she intervened, uh, you mm -hmm. know that. Okay, so, so these two girls have differences in their inter understanding and interpretation of the rules. Yeah, that's why I ask a question. Between the two of them, who would you like to have for a daughter? <laughs> <laughs> Open to us. <laughs> who would you like to have for your daughter? Pixie or Miranda? Depend on the mood <laughs> of the day. <laughs> Huh? Maybe different about the situation or the incident, <laughs> the occasion. Only give me an example when you say that. What do you mean? Yeah, actually, maybe you sometimes you okay certain, to. Certain time you prefer to have Miranda. Certain times you prefer to have Pixie. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, it, I, from my own perspective, sometimes maybe it's good for them to uh, give their interpretation, but sometimes just to follow the to follow the rules. Mm. Okay, suppose uh, you're Miranda, okay, and your auntie came knocking at the door. Just now it's a friend's, right? Just now it was Pixie's friend and she didn't allow them in. Now suppose it's her auntie. Would she open the door or her grandmother? Would she open the door if she were to be a literalist? Probably you open. Huh? <laughs> Anyone? You can you can you can put in the chat there. Would she open the door? 
Okay, okay. Uh, or she just follow the, 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 the rules, literally. What do you think? Mm -hmm. So she would not open the door. Even if it's an auntie, let's say that she's a real literalist. She didn't open the door. Is that a good, Actually. is that a good act? You know, some, some will say, I will call my mother to find out. You want your children to be like that? Every time when they face circumstances, they will have, uh, uh, say, Huda says that probably Miranda won't open the door, but the grandma or auntie will ask for the, <laughs> ask for the <laughs> huh? so, so will you want your children to be independent? In other words, they can think for themselves or they have to be dependent on your instruction. For simple, I think for something that is quite clear. That means between Pixie and Miranda, Pixie understood the spirit of the rule. So when you when you give instruction, what is more important, the spirit or just the 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 literal the literal words? Huh? You know, there's a story uh, of a boy whose mother went out uh, to clean uh, her clothes at the river. Okay. And she told the son, wash the door. Okay, wash the door. So what does that mean, wash the door? Literally, <laughs> literally it means wash the door, right? But, uh, but it's not literal. It's supposed to mean take care of the house, isn't it? Okay. Yes. So the mother did not come back for a long time. And he was very worried. So he wanted to look at his mother. So he tied the door at his back and then looking for his mother. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that? That means he literally follow the mother's instruction. But literally. So that means would you prefer someone who, okay, I'm I'm saying this because how does this reflect on our the way we act with the Quran itself? Okay. If we take it literally and we interpret it, okay, it will it be different, okay. Yes, I think Shadi, you want to say something? Your hand is raised. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I, actually, yeah, you are a mind reader, and that was in my mind. Even you know, when we read the Quran or uh, the life of the Prophet Muhammad, when like in the authentic narration, when he left Medina to Bani Quraidah, and he said, nobody can pray asr except in the the place of Bani Quraidah. So the Sahaba divided you know, for his rule or for his sentence, some of them said, no, actually he meant that you have to be hurry, you pray and you go. Another, you know, group said, no, no, no. He means that we have to pray there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Prophet Muhammad agreed, both of them. Mm -hmm. So, so this, is, this is true. In other words, there is a way to interpret and you have to think about it, right? And in the case of, uh, we said before, in the case of Islam, Okay, we doing this istihad, even if it's wrong, you get points for it. You know, you won't be penalized. There is no, no minus points. Okay, so yeah, South, South One, you said Miranda and PC have different istihad. <laughs> okay, so now let's go back to freedom. Okay, uh, so Na Naive asked the question, uh, Faizal asked the question, is freedom limited? I think you already answered this question. Is there absolute freedom? I think some, somebody is not saying to Pazal, there's no absolute freedom. Why do you say there's no absolute freedom to Pazal? And, and Pazal, why do you think freedom is limited? Okay, you want to respond? Yeah, to Pazal, I already admit you. Okay. Can you respond? Unmute, unmute to Pazal or, 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 or what do you call this? Pazal, yeah. Faisal or Faisal? Where are they? They're gone. <laughs> so, okay, uh, so does freedom contradict obeying the rules? I think also someone has stated just now. Uh, it doesn't mean that when you obey the rule, you don't have freedom, right? As I told you just now, there's no place in the world that there is completely no rules. I'm sorry for late response. Okay, the Faisal, yeah, go ahead. Well, Prof, uh, actually, uh, yes, we have some freedom in some context. It means uh, we can do something as for our own wish. 
in the some cases only but this is sure that everything is not under our control for example if we think of our birth the birth is not under our control or at our control at our hands okay then our death that is even we don't know that when we'll die okay that is not in our okay control also so so many things are not in our control means this is not absolutely okay at our hands so well, that's why giving, i say you are giving example that is very extreme death you know let's talk about <laughs> common life, life even okay yeah in common life even uh very i think is there any place that i just now where there is no rules if you if you say that every place is have rules okay then if you say that uh uh is binary rules and freedoms okay then definitely there is no freedom because everywhere there is rules no even within the rules we have some freedoms like so, rules are <laughs> rules are created so that we can enjoy the freedom in a disciplined way yeah so that is the idea of rules actually I mean uh, within so the is, rules within yeah. the rules we can enjoy the freedom yeah. if there is no rule then mm-hmm. in some cases it may be very chaotic so means that will also restrict the freedom of other people yeah yeah so that's why in some cases rule is also important rule so, also ensure the freedom so would you say that freedom is limited or 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 would you say freedom is limited or is this similar to uh, there is no absolute freedom yeah it's limited actually there is no But, such a, such a freedom Uh-huh. Okay, there's no such absolute freedom. Okay, now why does she say that? Why is it that she, in the closet she can be free to be me? Nobody wants. So she said a, a, a sister was controlling her. No, because because uh, being me is also something which is which is full of limit. You know, mm. you cannot be you all, all the time because sometimes you need to be a uh, part of society. Sometimes you need to be a student. Sometimes mm. you need to be a teacher. You 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 can't be you yourself. I mean that being me is also questionable, you know. Okay, that's why she's saying why in the closet. <laughs> yes, yeah, actually, actually, Bob. Actually, Bob. That we can be me everywhere, but and she she's agreeing with you too. That's why I said why is it oh, in the closet? I'd like to say something here if you allow me. Okay. Yes, yes, go ahead. Uh, so actually, I missed up. Okay, first session. I <laughs> missed okay in the middle. I joined. <laughs> uh we're first thing okay here uh if the meaning of closet is okay one private room for someone uh, then it can be that person okay may think that okay i am okay enjoying freedom there because nobody is controlling me in that private room or private house but the thing is even the private house may not be uh the place for enjoying the freedom for some cases For example, if that room is monitored with the CCTV, means the <laughs> camera, okay, then the private room may not be the room for the freedom. Okay, okay. But, but, so no, it, it depends. It depends always. Oh. Con- it depends on the context. Even uh, no particular context can ensure the freedom. Okay, that's why, as I say, that this is not the issue of. Uh, if you talk about the rule, you have made another question. That is it, uh, spirit or is it only the language or the linguistic issue means oh, the okay. meaning I mean puzzle yes. i can can i just uh, interrupt for a while okay please because you oh. mentioned about, about private privacy in the house i think although we said just now uh, there is no absolute freedom and yeah. in, inside the house you have some freedom right to do the things that you like that you cannot do outside the house right true. in some cases okay. so <laughs> <laughs> so in other words there is some some uh privilege you have in your own house there are certain things that you can do that no one can outside can 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 uh, stop you from doing it but once you go outside where you interact with other other people right then yes. you are going to step on other people's uh, rights that's where that you have to know that there are limits right there are limits otherwise there will be chaos now But is there a place? Is there something that you are free to be you, regardless no. of whether whether you are no. in society or are you, whether you are at home? Uh, truly no. Truly no? no. Truly no. I mean, I mean, no, your no. your actions are limited. Mm-hmm. But what about what about your thinking? 
Can someone prevent you from thinking about anything? Uh, no, actually. No, right? I can think many things. I can think many things, but okay. in some cases, I always okay, uh, ask myself that should I think that means should I think in that way means here actually I am controlling means I am also limiting my freedom. Mm -hmm. But but when you I am a thinker, if uh -huh. I am a thinker, I can think anything from multiple perspectives, from diverse perspectives. But even though at the same time, the same me is also thinking that, should I really think in that way? Or should I make those interpretations? <laughs> in here also, I have also another controlling, okay, uh, in, in my mind itself. But, 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 I, are you are, but you are in charge of your mind. Uh, should, I, should, I be frank, thinking, should I be thinking the other way? That means you are still in charge of your mind. That means my mind is also split. I mean, there are also diverse okay splits okay in my mind also i cannot say this is my mind because my mind works differently at different places with different people in at different time so even i cannot claim that this is my mind and that is not mine hmm. <laughs> so this is very complex okay so, so i was thinking that you know if someone imprison you okay you you are you you did a crime and you were imprisoned Definitely, you've lost all your freedom. Yeah, the only freedom is my, is, is my mind, actually. Yeah, then the only freedom you have yeah, to... Yeah, that is only the physical... No, okay. That one, no, no one can stop you from, from thinking, thinking what you want to think. Undoubtedly, yeah. undoubtedly. Uh, so that's so, the freedom. In okay, that okay. context, okay, I can Let me go to another part. thing, okay? I want to move a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, when uh, Marina said rules are rules, okay? I want to ask you this question because nobody asked this question. Can rule be broken? Hello? Can you hear me? Can yeah, yeah, yeah. rule be broken? Yeah. Well, enough. Hello, can yeah. you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah we can hear you. Uh, okay, it depends. As I've told you, first of all, we must agree on the approach to this question. Are we going to look at philosophy as merely logical or are we going to connect philosophy with psychology? Are you, in other words, psychology is part of philosophy. If we if we, if we define our approach, then only we can answer the question, uh, rules are meant to be broken or not. Because if you look at it from a psychological perspective, it all depends on the I, which I you're talking about, which me you're talking about, you see. Pixie, okay, we must understand in what context she is. She is perhaps, perhaps we may interpret her in the liberal context of human rights, of I, I. I means I can do whatever I want, detached from God. Now, it's wrong to have an analogy with the hadith of Prophet regarding the Salat, regarding the Salat that, uh, what's it, Quraiza, eh? Okay, that is a totally different issue, the different eye altogether. I would say that I look at this question where men's rules are meant to be broken, it depends on which eye is talking about. If the eye is someone conscious of God, his understanding of rule is the same rule, is different from someone who is not conscious of God. The same rule, they understand differently. Okay, I, let's, I, I would, let's, yeah, I would let's say, look at I would it say, not from a psychological perspective. Let's look at it from from a philosophical, logical perspective. That's why I say, first of all, we must agree what is philosophy first. We have to define what philosophy, for me personally, philosophy must look at philosophy from a holistic perspective. If philosophy is anchored merely on logic, that is very positivist approach. There is, there is a must up in philosophy, positivism, pure logic. I would say that if you anchor philosophy on hikma, then psychology is part of philosophy, part of hikma. So I would look at this Today's is more like defining what is Hikmah, what is philosophy, and using Pixie as an example of how we understand uh, the meaning of philosophy. If this is a, if this is a lecture on meaning, searching for meanings, huh? I would first of all define what is, what is the approach first, what is the philosophical approach first. Let us agree on that first. Okay. So we def uh, ah, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to talk at that level with school children if you're teaching children. <laughs> Remember, this is this is the pedagogy for school children, and then also for university students. Okay, the, you can talk at that level with them if they are already, uh, what do you call this? Uh, they are already. Uh, I'm talking with this kind of language. Specializing, like specializing, specializing, specializing in that. But uh, we are using this to 
to make the student minds think, okay? Not so much of psychology or philosophy because that's not the purpose here. The purpose here is to open up their mind to see. For example, I ask a question, can rules be broken? Because some people will say, like what Miranda will say, rules are rules. They cannot be broken. But suppose I suppose you see this situation. You are driving at 3 o'clock in the morning. You pass by this junction with traffic light. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. If it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, when the traffic uh, 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 change to red, you stop, right? Because there are many cars around you. You stop because that's why traffic rules are there for. Uh, to, uh, to ensure there is no accident. Okay? To ensure there is order. There is a turn in, 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 in uh, going through the junctions. But suppose it's at 3 a.m. in the morning and you don't see any light from anywhere, but the traffic light turns red. Now, will you stop and okay. wait for the traffic light to turn green? Or would you, using your own judgment, seeing there's no cars coming from any direction, because if they, they're coming, you can see some light somewhere, you go on. Okay, can I, can I make a comment? Okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, what is it? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, sure. Brief one, brief okay. one. Say. Okay, okay. Now, uh, I think the analogy with uh, emergency cases is very different. Darura, you can eat pig also, no pork also, no problem. I think the pig sick issue is totally different. The mother is going out for to buy something. That's what two to three hours they're going to come back. I think in pig sick case, the eye is very important. If she, for her, the eye freedom is to prove that I am above everything else. I can do what I want to like. I think that rules are not meant to be broken for her, for particularly for Pixie. I don't think so. That's why the I is very, very important. Depends on the state of uh, spirituality there. Yeah. I would tell my children, if my children is Pixie, I would ask her, why you want to break the rule for? That's the question. Is it to prove yourself okay, that you are okay. someone special or what? Already, I would, already, yeah. already you're assuming that Pixie is breaking the rules. I don't think PC has broken any rules. She interpreted her mother's uh, her mother's rule, the spirit of the rule. She understood the spirit of the mother's rule. So that's why she wanted a friend to come in. The question now is, if she become a literalist like Miranda, that means there is no way everything is fixed. Whereas if you talk about, about Islam itself, about Allah himself, even in Ramadan, there are people who are exempted from fasting, right? Even in Salat, there are people exempted from fasting, uh, from Salat, right? So in other words, there are a lot of rusah, rusah, you know, rusah in, 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 in religion that shows that the rules can be banned for certain contexts and conditions. But if you are teaching your daughter like Miranda, that means whatever condition, you must abide by it. So is that, is that giving any context hikmah? Because hikmah means you look at your context and situation. So in other words, if you compare uh, Miranda and Pixie, you can say that Pixie has more hikmah than Miranda because she can think, she can see the wisdom behind the rules. And she will, she's still abiding by the rule despite you might think that she's breaking the rules. This is where the interpretation just now comes in because you understand. Uh, this okay. is the... Well, in our in our community, you know, sometimes you have, many of us, in fact, are very literalist, giving no rooms for differences of opinion. Okay, in the end, we become stuck. We don't move because we want to stick to that same thing. Whereas, whereas if if the scholars or if 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 we have understood, if we do a proper istihad, not being a different thing. I mean, there are more di that dynamism. Okay, okay. Uh, I think this is the exercise I want you to go through actually. <laughs> you know? And if you do this often, I don't know whether you see it, okay? Uh, if you, you do it often, I want to ask you, can we reach the, can this, the way that this thing, I, I, I told you to observe the teachers as well, okay? What was the teacher doing? Anyone? What was the teacher doing? Teacher, in what sense, bro? You lost. Uh, for example, what was I doing? Was, oh, I just oh, oh. was I just accepting your answer? Oh, okay, okay. 
Or do I try to go further with your answer? That means, do I probe your answer? Your response? I mean, the teacher probe further, isn't it? And the teacher also asks further questions, isn't it? No. So this is, if you want uh, the discussion to go on and to get the student to see things, the teacher must, must be able to give questions so that uh, the student will see a different perspective, not just his or her perspective. Okay, so I encourage to ask questions, that's correct. Okay, but I also ask you for the question. And in fact, uh, Alhamdulillah, despite being online, we can see that uh, you, we can still respond as though we are in the classroom. So I think, I think uh, online can be used uh, with this platform, we can use for even Ikmah pedagogy. Uh, my, my, my question next is, we said just now, this pedagogy is supposed to be able to help in reasoning. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see? Do you see it? How do you see it helps in reasoning? You have to think, right? You have to think before you answer, right? Yeah. Okay. Make a choice. You have to, yeah, you have, to, you have to decide your choice. You have to think. Uh -huh. Okay. Secondly, we said just now, it helps you to be creative. Can you see how it helps the people to be creative if they do this often? Anyone? Where's creativity in this? Nobody is going to write anything or respond. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to raise their hand so that uh, Shahran can unmute him or her. Okay, but the father I can unmute you again. Where does where does the creativity oh, comes in? Prof, actually, uh, I, I I was searching the answer of. Uh, one issue that you raised uh -huh. in, uh, in the conversation that Allah, uh, he has okay, said. So then the question came to my mind that, so why we say that he, and how do you know that Allah is he or she? Or, actually, could you please uh, uh, give me the answer? <laughs> <laughs> so it may be silly, but it came to my mind. Actually, I'm not why, sure. why he, not she? Because <laughs> you you always read, call huwa Allah huwa had. You don't say, call he ya Allah. <laughs> right? Right, the first, uh, brother? Uh, but, uh, Why is so, he not, not uh, Could he? you please give any complete example that can uh, really uh, give the uh, reasoning that okay, he is he? He is he? Yeah. <laughs> well, he, he himself call himself he. Okay. Allah who summoned. Is it our interpretation? Yeah, our means, interpretation? It means our, as you say, that means he. Okay, I open, it, I open it to you. What do you all think? I, I, there's no I, I, think, I think we leave this question for next time. We okay. go ahead and focus okay. on this. I just, I just want to stop. I say, where is the creativity? Because there are some yeah. responses already there. Yeah. Uh, see, creativity means we look at the issue differently in different situations. Yeah, creativity means there are alternatives. If in other words, if there are alternatives, you are beginning to see, oh, there's one, one, one different way of looking at it, another different way of looking at it, then now you have many alternatives. That alternatives that you can see given by your colleagues, that is the creativity that is in here. And because of that different alternatives, this is how it will open up the student's mind. Because now we see that there are different views of looking at things, not just his view, all this while that has been holding to that view. Okay, so I know uh, it's already, uh, oh, okay, somebody say creativity also means bid'ah. <laughs> and it's a long discussion. <laughs> okay, uh, we will have to, uh, I mean, uh, we'll continue, inshallah, because yeah. it's already 10.30 and uh, we keep to the time. But I hope you have at least experienced one session of Ikhmah pedagogy. That's what it's like. And if you were the teacher, you ask yourself, can you do this? We we'll come up with some other stimulus material, some, 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 more, some more things to discuss, inshallah, in the next class. Thank you so, very much. I am extremely happy to have the opportunity to enjoy the class with you. After a long time, after a long time. So happy.
Ah, Alhamdulillah. Okay, we can interact some Thank more. You, Thank you, Prof. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Prof. Uh, we look forward for next week's class. Uh, although we have another three more classes, but we can expand it if we need it in the future, inshallah. Any final word, Prof, Prof Nani, for tonight before we close? Well, Alhamdulillah, I think I'm happy to see that uh, I was a bit skeptical whether we can do Hikmah online. Because uh, in real in real Hikmah situation or real philosophical inquiry, it has to be like always face to face and we can immediately interact with questions or with further questions or with answers, with views, with arguments. Uh, but now I can see that uh, it can be done basically through the chats and through the the giving the opportunity to participants. But but as you can see, it takes some time. It doesn't go. It's not like giving. I can give you the, all the theory about rules and freedom, but it will go in. It will not go. It will not go very deep into you. But doing a philosophical inquiry, you remember the argument, especially Nasser give argument about psychology and philosophy. Uh, uh, I, I could I could dwell on that, but it will take very high, and we, we want to we want to give you an exposure on. I've given you even the simplest passage, nothing much on criticism yet. Okay, so you can understand that uh, even with a simpler simple passage like this, two children. Okay, you can go into big big concepts, not just small concepts. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, Prince. Thank, thank you, you bro. Alhamdulillah, I think this is a very interesting. Uh, moreover, we also have a very matured uh, audience. Uh, I know Bernard Nasir and the rest. I know Dr. Tufazel very well. Uh, he's our friend uh, from IUM also. Uh, but inshallah, we will can expand this uh, uh, experience, this experiment in other classes. Thank you so much, Prof. Thank you, everyone. Assalamualaikum okay. warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Please keep the chat for me, Brother Sharan. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll forward to you everything. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, Assalamualaikum.